Hey guys, so this here is a homemade, 3D printed and also Arduino based Halloween skull. And I've designed it in such a way that it will have a moving jaw with a servo. It also has some RGB LEDs inside the eyes and below here below the jaw. And it also has a speaker inside so it could play some scary sounds. And it has a PIR sensor here so it can detect movement. But the most interesting part about this project is a mini homemade smoke machine that we have inside. And in this video I'll show you how to make that as well. So let me give it a test and then stick till the end because I'll show you step by step how to make this. So I'll flip this switch here, we'll hear the welcome sound. And then once it detects movement, it will play some scary sounds, it will blink the LEDs, move the jaw and also the best of all it will create some smoke right here. So let me just flip the switch. Welcome sound. Movement. So what do you think guys? Pretty cool, right? So let's get started. I've just received a few new PCBs from PCBWay and this time I've ordered some new exotic colors as well. Look how nice they are with the shiny purple, but you could also select any of these colors here for the solar mask. And the silk layer is very good. The pads and the tracks are perfect and precise, so in overall, as always, I'm satisfied with my order from PCBWay. For only $5 you can get 5 PCBs for your prototypes, and all you have to do is to upload the Gerber files to their website, select the settings for the color, the thickness, and so on, and place the order. And in a few days you receive your awesome PCBs, so you can start making your project. What's up my friends, welcome back. We are around Halloween days, and I want to make another cool project. Because if you remember that last year I had a 3D printing pumpkin that was able to play sounds, and it was creating water mist out of its mouth together with some addressable LEDs. But this time I want to make a scary 3D printed skull. I've made the design so you could easily 3D print it, and then it will have a moving jaw that you could control with a servo motor. The design has a space here for micro 9G servo to move the jaw. The eye holes will have spaces for some LEDs that could also be controlled with an Arduino for example. And inside the skull we have enough space to add a battery, an Arduino, the DF player together with the speaker and be able to play some scary sounds. But the best part of this project is a homemade mini smoke machine. You see, the water mist is cool, but sometimes you can barely see it. That's why for this Halloween I'm making my own mini smoke machine, so stay tuned till the end to see how I've made it and how cheap are the parts that we need. So let's start with the components for the project. First of all we need the 3D printed skull, so download my design from below and 3D print it. It is made out of 3 main parts. The jaw, the bottom part of the skull and the top part. You have to print all the parts using supports, because none of them is flat and they have round shapes. All this inside of the skull is actually support for the 3D printing process, and everything was printed with PLA material. 0.4mm nozzle and 0.2mm layer height and 20% infill with two layers. As you can see one was printed with two colors, and that's because while I was printing, which by the way it was around 30 hours of printing time, I was running out of grey filament, so I had to pause the print and continue with gold color. So luckily I have a filament sensor and a pause mode on my printer. They had a lot of support material. Actually, half of the filament it seems to be for supports. Ok, so now we have to remove these supports. For the jaw and the top part of the skull that was very easy. But the middle part has a lot of supports. So carefully remove everything from inside and all the small holes. It took me a while to get it all out. Look how much support material we had inside. Also be careful because I don't know how, but I was able to cut myself with one of these sharp support material. Anyway, now all the parts are clean, more or less. 
So finally, you should sandpaper all the parts, especially where we had supports, so we would have a smoother finish. I pass with two levels of sandpaper and now they look a lot better. And in order to have the same color, I will use some spray paint and give it a few layers of paint. So we apply one or more layers and in my case I want to use this grey primer and I will see later if I would need some more paint. And once the primer is dry, I sandpaper the parts once again and then I add another layer of paint. And finally, once the parts are fully dry, I might use some acrylic paint and add some shadows and details. So let the paint to dry until then, let's see what else we need for this project. I will use an Arduino as always. And to move the jaw I will use a servo motor like this one, a Micro 9G. And for the LEDs I might use some 5mm red color LEDs, or maybe we can use some addressable RGB LEDs like this one's here. And to create the sounds as always, we can use a DF player with a micro SD card and we can play some mp3 files on it. This module is very easy to control with the Arduino. And it has enough power for an 8 ohm speaker like this one, so we also need this. And to supply everything I'm planning to use a 5S battery of 3.8 volts. So we also need a voltage booster in order to get 5 volts for the digital part and for that I will use a boost converter module like this one with enough current output. And then to protect and recharge the battery I want to use this protection module with a USB connector for charging. And yes I know the battery is from a smartphone and that's because I have a lot of these batteries and I want to reuse them. We also want to make the skull react to movement. So for that I will use a PIR sensor like this one. And now for the cool part of the project, what we need for the mini smoke machine. Well I want to use the heating element of a vaping cigarette. So I've bought a few models and see which one is best. So stay till the end to see that. And then to push out the smoke we need some sort of pump. And I will try to get mine out of this aquarium air pump that I don't use anymore. And if it doesn't work because it's using high voltage, I'll have to build one myself because the one that I've ordered a few days ago hasn't arrived yet. Or maybe I'll use just a fan to push out the smoke. We also need some smoke liquid. I still have some from my previous huge smoke machine and if you want to see how I've made that, check the video in the description. But anyway to make sure that it's compatible, I've also ordered some vaping liquid with menthol flavor. And to control the power of the heater and the pump, we will need two MOSFETs, which can be controlled with the Arduino. And that's pretty much all we need. And if I use any other small part, I'll put it in the full part list on electrooms.com, and as always you'll have the links below. Ok, so let's start. First thing first is to prepare the skull, which by now should be dry and have a nice grey color. We might paint it more later with some details and shadows, but for now it's good like this. We first must add the servo motor in place, because otherwise, once we have the jaw mounted, it will be more difficult. So now I add some insertion threads as always using my soldering iron. Then we pass the wires inside of the skull and fix the servo in place. Then we can add and tie the screws. So now the servo is in place and we have the wires inside of the skull. Now we can add the jaw. So slide it inside of those two holes. And then I add the screws, but I had to use some glue to fix them in place because there was no more space for the screw nut. I guess I've made a bad design choice, but anyway, I glue it in place and it will be ok for now. To fix in place the top part I thought of using magnets. So we have these slots all around the skull. So we have to add a neodymium magnet on each slot except these two holes here. So I use some super glue and add a magnet on each hole, but make sure that the ones on the bottom side have the opposite polarity than the ones on the top side, so like that they will attract each other. Now that we have the magnets, look how easy it is to close it. So for now the plastic part is ready, let's pass to the electronics, but before we make the connections, let's make the mini smoke machine. 
First I have to open the aquarium air pump and see if I can use it. But once I've opened it, I realize that it's just a 220 volts AC pump that is made out with a transformer and that's moving a rubber membrane, so I don't think I can use it. I take out the pump and I think that I could use it if I add a DC motor and that would push and pull the membrane very fast. But because that will vibrate a lot and make a lot of sound, I've decided to just use the 12 volts fan that I have. So I fill the first pipe with some smoke liquid. The idea is to connect power to the heating element inside of these vaping pipes. The heating element is just a resistive wire and that will be inside here and is something like this. That will heat the liquid and create the smoke and I want to use the fan to push it out. And the plastic design also has a small hole here below the jaw so the smoke would exit here. Ok, so I solder wires to the positive and negative connections of the heater. Then I make a bigger hole on the side and this is where the air should enter and push the smoke out on the other side. So now I should make something that will hold the fan like this and also push the air towards that hole. That's why I've 3D printed this part here. And then I glued the vapor pipe inside here and I made sure that the air could flow to that hole on the side. Then I screw in place the fan on top of this and hope this will work. I supply the fan and then I connect the heater. Some smoke is coming out, but it's not as hard as I was expecting. The fan I think is not powerful enough to create enough pressure. So that's why I've took out the vapor from the 3D printed part and I will use this other one. Because this one has a more direct hole so more air could flow. I solder wires once again to the heating element as before. And now I glue it inside of the 3D printed part. Then I add the fan and let's test it once again. And this time the smoke will flow a lot better and I'm quite happy with the results. But there is one problem because the fan needs 12 volts. So I want to use another separate boost converter to increase the battery voltage up to 12 volts just for the fan. So now we can assemble the rest. This should be the schematic for this project, so check the final one below in the description just in case that I change something till the end. I glue the boost converter to the smoke machine and I solder the wires and make sure that I set the output to 12 volts. And then I also add the MOSFETs that we use to control the power to the smoke machine and the fan. I soldered the Arduino and the DF player on the prototyping PCB. Then I soldered the speaker at the output of the DF player. I also add a switch on the back of the skull and this will be connected to the battery and the 5V boost converter. I connect the protection and the charger module to the battery. I also solder some wires to the PIR sensor and the addressable LEDs. Now everything is prepared just as in the schematic. So I glue them inside of the skull and make the connections. First I connect the 5V boost converter to the switch and glue it inside the skull. Then I also add the battery with the charger and glue them in place. Then I add a smoke machine module on the hole the 3D printed skull has on the bottom. And then I glue one LED inside of each eye. And finally I glue the Arduino and the DF player PCB on the other side. So we can make all the connections here at this point. On the other 3D printed part I've made a hole and glued in place the PIR sensor that will detect the movement. I add some wires with male pins. In this way we could connect them to the other side of the 3D printed part and be able to close and open the skull. I also glue the speaker in place and I had to make some holes on the back so the sound could exit. I think I will have to repaint this part. I finally decided to add another LED below the jaw so we could light it up and like that the smoke would be more visible. Now I get the SD card and upload the mp3 files on it. Then I insert it into the DF player. So now the skull is ready for the code, so download it from below together with the needed library and upload it to the Arduino Nano. 
the code is more than easy. On this line here we detect if the PIR sensor is active. And if yes, we activate this movement detected variable. While this is active, we make a loop where we play a scary sound and we blink the ice LEDs with red color. We also move the jaw with the servo. When 9 seconds have passed, we reset the movement detected variable and it will wait once again to detect the movement. And that's it for the code. To move the jaw we must connect the servo to the plastic part. And for that I will use some metal wire. So bend it and connect it to the servo in such a way that it will push and pull the jaw. So my scary skull is ready for the first test. So let me close the top part and give it a run. By the way I've also 3D printed this support, so like that the skull will stay straight and not touch the table with the jaw. So flip the switch on the back. The welcome sound will play. And now when I move, this will happen. We can hear an evil laugh and the ice LEDs are blinking. For 3 seconds the smoke will come out below the jaw. You can see here how the smoke is coming out, so the mini smoke machine is working perfectly. Also the bottom LED will turn white so we can better see the smoke. And on top of that the jaw will move up and down. Pretty cool, right? Finally I've decided to use some acrylic paint and add some shadows and details. A bit around the eyes, between the teeth and some extra shadows so it will look a little bit more dirty. And I think now it looks a lot better, right? So guys, that's how I've made my own automatic scary skull with a smoke machine, some moving parts, some scary sounds and flashing LEDs. You can easily open it with the magnet system. And then you can plug a USB cable and recharge the battery. So I hope that you like my design, you have everything below ready for download. And if you have learned something new, consider giving me a like or comment below. So happy and scary Halloween. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey guys, so that was the video for this week, I hope that you like it. And as always, the most important part for me is that you have learned something new. And I would like to thank you to all of you who are supporting me on Patreon because that for me is huge. And by the way, if you would like to support my projects, you have all my links below for this Patreon page, for my social media, for my shop and so on. So thanks again and see you later guys.